Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between this white 20 watt We Create laser and this blue 40 watt We Create laser. I have both of these, so I'm going to show you both the comparison on their website and off of the website when you have the machine itself. So we'll be taking a closer look at those in just a second. On the site itself, they do have a highlights at a glance option here. Um, you can see all of the basic functions that come with both units except for 40 watt versus 20 watt laser head here and they're both compatible with the IR laser. They're both compatible with the um, auto pass through belt. Um, so just a heads up on that. Most of this is going to be similar but there are some differences. Um, before we go into the differences we're going to show you the quick accessory kit this is the basic kit that you get with the machine. You get an air assist, slap panel tray, and the crumb tray itself that goes underneath this tray when it's in there to catch all of your, your crumbs or leftover laser designs. And then you have an HD camera in each one and obviously the auto lifting system is part of both units that we've seen in that last page. The 40 watt is gonna look blue like this. The 20 watt is gonna look white. Um, and then lastly, we're going to do that side-by-side -side comparison based on their website here. You can pause the video at any time as I scroll down, uh, so I don't have to read all of this off, but some of the key highlights is obviously the 40 watt is on the left, 20 watt is on the right, the blue is the uh, 40, and the white is the 20, like I mentioned. Um, the only real difference in spot size is by a 0.01% uh, point size here. And what that is going to do is it's going to allow you to engrave slightly better detail on the 20 watt machine versus the 40 watt machine, but the 40 watt machine is going to cut much thicker. As you can see right here, here's the thickness of different materials that they already have created for the 40 watt and the 20 watt and what they can cut maximum size comparison between the two. So take a screenshot or pause the video and check that out if you're interested. Same thing with cutting speeds. The 40 watts gonna be faster, obviously, because it's got more power. Um, and then that's gonna come at a cost. You'll see that here in just a second. And then you also have the cutting speeds here of the um, 20 watt. Now, what I said, it comes at a cost. Basically, you have your working area is ever so slightly smaller due to that increase in speed and power there. So it's not really that big of a deal. But this is going to be your max size for the 40 watt, and this is the max size for the 20 watt. If that's a huge deal to you, then you may want to end up choosing the 20 watt. Um, overall, everything else is pretty much identical down the board. The software is the same, compatibilities are the same, as long as you don't have like one of the entry uh, level machines that were in beta. Um, everything should be compatible. If you have one of those entry-level machines that are in beta um, prior to watching this video, you, your um, conveyor belt and 2-watt infrared may not be compatible, so just a heads up on that. Um, now, with that out of the way, we're going to jump into their software here and show you what's different off of the website once you get your machine. So this is a fresh download of the software, so you can see it brand new and fresh. This is uh, the default settings are all set for a 20 watt uh, laser here. So all of these settings are preset and made for a 20 watt. So you can select like cherry wood, choose this, hit confirm, and then you would be able to engrave whatever you want using that default setting for a 20 watt laser. Where a lot of people are getting confused is when they get their 40 watt, they're looking for these different thicknesses and um, they may have changed it since I last checked, but whenever you would open it, it would only say like six millimeters, and that was the default setting, because they only tested with thicker materials, and those were all the presets that they had in here right off the bat. But we'll check that here in just a moment, but just a heads up on it, that's gonna be the difference that you're not expecting, is the 40 watt hasn't been out as long, so it doesn't have all of these different materials um, preset for preset settings yet, but they are working on it. They've assured me that they will be adding more um, prior to me making this video and they wanted me to let you know that as well. So hopefully that will be coming out in a future update here. 
Um, if I can get that to show up here on this computer, I'll show it to you. Otherwise, hopefully you can just take my word for it. It'll say like six millimeters and you'll have a lot less options to select from. And that's where people were getting confused or upset when they first got their machine because they have to do some of that testing themselves. So if you're going to get a 40 watt and the latest brand new thing that hasn't had an, um, custom settings made already, just uh, be patient. They are on the way or be willing to test your own settings. If you haven't seen um, the video on how to, to create this grid pattern here, you can simply just use any material that you have, create your own grid pattern, and then you can add it here or you can um, just have it laying next to your machine and you can select your own settings based on that grid pattern. So check that video out. Super important uh, to do on any type of material and you're gonna run into it sooner or later. Now with that out of the way, let's take a look at the actual machines themselves and um, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of engravings from each machine here. All right, you guys, so we're gonna take a look, quick look at the one more piece of software that I told you I was gonna let you know of and that is this computer right here behind me it is hooked up to this uh, 40 watt machine here. So you can see those pre-cut settings. Um, I'll try and just hold the phone in front of the screen. I don't have screen recording software on this unit right now. That's why I couldn't do it on the other computer here. So let's take a real quick look at that. And then we're gonna jump into looking at the hardware on this machine. All right, you guys, so as you can see, we have the blue 40 watt laser hooked up here. And this is the default settings that are on this computer here is the cherry wood nine millimeters. Obviously that's way too thick for the 20 watt laser. These are all the pre-cut settings for um, the 40 watt that you're gonna get is thicker material that they've actually tested and then they made a test grid for it. You're gonna have to reprint these test grids for your own materials that are thinner with the 40 watt because they haven't been tested with the doubled power from the 20 watt. So just a heads up on that, let's jump over to the next segment and show you guys the hardware. All right, you guys, so now that we checked out all the software on both machines, we're now gonna talk about the hardware. We've already kind of talked about it in the comparison chart. They're both basically the exact same internally um, as far as hardware goes. They're both gonna have the lift feature, the autofocus. Um, they're both compatible with the belt pass-through. As you can see, this is fully assembled here with the belt pass-through. Um, they both are gonna have these little slat panel tray options here that look like this. Um, and then they're both gonna come with like an air assist as well. Now, with that said, um, I can only base this off of my 20 watt machine, which was a beta machine that came out before actual launch um, to this. And they did make significant improvements to hardware, in my opinion, internally, such as wire management. The wire management in this is impeccable compared to my 20 watt. They may have already done that with future 20 watt machines as well but I don't have one of those to compare to. So hopefully you guys with a 20 watt can let us know down in the comments below how your wire management is. The other thing is, is there used to be an issue with cutting into the air assist hose that was inside here. There was a metal piece that was cutting into that hose. They actually took out about this much of the chunk of a metal piece in there, refab refabricated it, it looks a lot better. It doesn't have any cutting issues or rubbing issues now. So that's awesome. That's pretty much it for it. If you have a 20 watt, you have a 40 watt, all the hardware is the same except for the diode laser itself. The 40 watt is gonna definitely cut thicker as you can see in the software, all the pre-cut settings are made for thicker materials, but they haven't tested those for the 40 watt for the thinner materials yet. So those pre-cut settings are gonna be different because you have double the power. So they're gonna to have to do that. Those will be releasing in the future, I was told. So hopefully that'll be sooner than later. Um, but you can always watch that video I told you about that will show you guys how to make your own pre-cut grid system. Um, I'll go ahead and try and do an engraving on both this machine and my other unit that is in a different location and then do a side-by-side -side of what those engravings look like right here at the end so you can see uh, for yourself 
which one you want, but in my honest opinion, they both look about the same to me, um, but you can make your own opinion. If I was going to choose which unit that I would do, I would definitely choose the 40 watt unit. Um, it's just more power, you're gonna have more cuts to it. The engravings are about the same. I would definitely choose the 40 watt over the 20 watt, but that's totally your call. This is just an informative video for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any other questions, let me know down in the comments below. All right, you guys, so as you can see on the left, I have the 40 watt and on the right is the 20 watt. This is the engraving of it as it's engraving itself. Um, if you noticed in that engraving itself, it was a lot darker for the 40 watt. I had to sand off the top surface of the burn marks um, because I used the same exact settings. Since the 40 watt is two times more powerful, it's going to have a lot more burn marks if you're using the same settings. So to get a true comparison, you're going to have to find custom settings. But I wanted to show you a side by side of what the exact same settings look like if you do use them. As you can tell, after it's cleaned up, the 40 watt actually looks better because it engraved a little bit deeper than the um, 20 watt here. So just uh, a side-by-side -side comparison. If you're going to go for either machine, if you want more cutting power, go with the 40 watt. If you want to save some money, go with the 20 watt. They both do a great job, um, but I wanted to show you guys a side-by-side -side comparison at the exact same speed engraving and cut. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below, and then I will answer anything that I can. Um, other than that, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you guys in the next one.